Hi, it's Neil here from Total Wellness Club, welcoming you to another episode in our video series where we're looking at what helps you get healthy and fit and stay healthy and fit. Today, uh, the topic is um, progress tracking. Um, when I first started uh, exercising many years ago, um, I never really used to track my progress uh, at all. Um, I just do the same exercises pretty much in the same way pretty much with the same weights pretty much every day. Uh, but over time, um, you find that the motivation um, to do the exercise um, would dwindle. When we were building um, Questly, um, and Questly is uh, 10 quests that help you get into the best health of your life, you can find it at questly.life. When we were building that, we, we did a lot of research and we were asking people what they were looking for. One of the interesting quirks in that research was for the men, that um, they, they stated um, that they were looking for um, motivation and challenge. And one of the ways that you can motivate and challenge yourself is obviously by keeping track of your progress, because then you can start looking at what you can do better. Um, you know, you can look at how much weight you're lifting, you can look at how many reps you're doing, um, you can look at how fast you're going, you can look at your average speed. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can track. So I began actually starting to track my progress. In interviewing um, personal trainers, uh, I think 43% of them said that the, one of the most important things to do uh, with exercise is to actually track your progress. So you've actually got it from the experts. So the thing is then, so what do you track? How do you track it? And when do you track it? Let's take a look at that. So one of the things that I track is uh, my weight workout. So um, with this particular um, example here um, for my shoulders, I can see that I've got um, four uh, sets. I can see what weight I lifted for each of those sets. And I know that set one would be 15 reps, set two would be 12, three would be eight, and set four would be eight as well. Um, so that's how I, I track um, my weights. Um, I also got another measurement sheet here as well. Um, so what this one shows uh, is my body measurements. So um, what I tracked here is uh, my weight, uh, the date, and then uh, my um, my uh, uh, my measurements in uh, in centimeters um, for various parts uh, of my body, like my my neck, my shoulders, uh, and my chest. So I also use my Fitbit, which will uh, monitor several different things. So usually what I'm interested in tracking um, with, um, with my, my Fitbit is uh, my speed um, over what distance when I'm out running, um, but I'm also interested in the average speed as well. Um, devices like Fitbit, there's also Jawbone, um, Hilo and, and others out there on the market as well. Um, you just need to find the one that really works for you. Um, but they can track other things as well, um, like mine tracks uh, heart rate, uh, resting heart rate. Uh, it also tracks sleep. Um, so there are other things like that that it can track as well. If you want to track your progress, take a look at the tools in questly.life. Look in the progress tracking quest and you'll find examples of ways of uh, keeping track of your, uh, your progress. Uh, equally, please leave your comments below because I'm interested in what you're doing to track your progress um, and how you're using that to help to, um, to motivate you and see how you're, um, you're, you're progressing. And one of the great things about keeping notes is that when you look back, say in a year or two, and uh, you realize that maybe you're not quite in as good a shape as you were a couple of years ago, you can look back and you can see exactly what you were doing. You could see the weights you were lifting, the, the speed you were running at. You could probably even track the diet that you were, uh, you, you were taking in at that time as well. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do when you start to track and document your progress. So I'd love to know what you're doing for, uh, for your progress tracking, but equally, I hope that what I've shared with you today is really helpful for you too.